we need to do something to interrupt this, this chain reaction of displacement. What we're here to talk about tonight is um, just cause eviction. In Massachusetts, unless a tenant lives in public or subsidized housing, all landlords have the right to bring an eviction action in court um, against their tenant without providing any cause or justification. Recibimos una carta donde teníamos que cambiarnos a finales de diciembre porque el landlord quería vender la casa para que se construyeran este, residencias para estudiantes. One of the biggest things for our members to grapple around is the fact that a landlord can raise the rent however much money they want. We had one case of an elderly woman whose rent was raised from $1,600 to $3,200. Her rent doubled overnight. Unfortunately, she found us way too late in her process, and she was, had, she was forced to be displaced from her unit. It still begs you to question, how much money is enough money? How much money is enough money for you to let people live in peace in their homes or have a community or raise a family? How much money is enough money? Basically, what just cause eviction means is that landlords who are not owner occupants would have to have a legitimate reason for eviction. If a, a landlord who's not an owner occupant is moving to evict a tenant over large rent increases, uh, there should be a mediation procedure in place. A before it gets to litigation, a mediation procedure. And this should be paired with, with again, um, some kind of incentive, possibly property tax relief uh, for owner occupants, for, for Boston residents who are small landlords that are keeping their rents affordable. And we celebrate diversity in this city, but we've been doing a subpar job at honoring it. And, you know, this is one of the ways with which we have to honor it. At the height of this hearing, over 300 people who live in Boston have come in support of stopping the hemorrhaging. This is a huge victory. This is a huge victory. Where our movement, our community, is trying to say, we have solutions. We've lived the problem, and we have solutions. Just cause eviction needs to be passed immediately. That, but that, is, that just stops the bleeding temporarily. We actually need policies that bring resources into preserving and expanding affordable housing, you know, taking housing out of the market via land trust, uh, resourcing this through IDP, through uh, real estate transfer tax, et cetera. You have, a, and, 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 the, and one of the most bold proposals Mr. Terrell's proposal of using eminent domain power to, to go after the most egregious predatory developers. Incredible. This network of policy proposals is what we need to not to do more than stop the hemorrhaging. We can actually fix the body. But what we need from you is your leadership with your colleagues on the council because we can't even stop the bleeding without this council passing just cause eviction. That's first and we need it now. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.